everybody, I'm Brian Julius. I'm the Chief Content Officer for Enterprise DNA. And today I wanted to show you a really interesting technique that came up in a forum response that I worked on last night. And it's splitting columns by delimiters using DAX. And this is, this is something that you probably know how to do easily using Power Query. And that's generally the best way to do it. But there are situations where, because of the dynamic nature of the the problem and also because of specific considerations within the data model, you're going to want to do this in DAX. And it's it's a lot trickier to do in DAX than it is in Power Query. But I wanted to show you how to do it, A, because it's a useful technique to have in your, in your back pocket. And second of all, because it exposes you to a family of functions in DAX that are incredibly powerful that you may not have encountered before. Um, the the parent-child hierarchy functions um, or the path functions. And they're typically used for situations where you're, you're working with hierarchies. So, for example, in like an HR analysis where you've got the, the CEO of a firm and then you've got the, the director level um, managers and then the branch chief level managers and so forth. And it's able to express that, that hierarchy in a particular way and traverse back and forth through it. And that's the traditional use of it, but it's also got some very useful um, properties for text manipulation in DAX that I want to show you. And so this was the this was the problem that we were dealing with. That it was a member named Galen, and what he was doing was he had a, a list of about 600 movie titles, and what he wanted to do was basically take the the most common words in those titles is calculated through this this parameterized slider and then for the the number of um, of words that he selected so in this case let's say it goes down to go down to let's say five words and what he wanted to do was to then return every title that had at least one of those five words in the title and that's that's a little trickier than it than it seemed. And so, what I want to do was was show you how I went about doing this using using DAX. And so, the first thing that we can do is take a look at the at the movie data. And what he had was just a list of films. And if we think about basically how to break this down into um, in individual words in a single column. Um, that becomes useful because in looking at the general approach, the way I was conceptualizing this was to, to use two virtual tables. One that was just a one column table of those top, top words that had been defined by the slider. And then the second one was a virtual column of the words in each movie title. And then using those two, those two virtual tables, we can use the intersect function and then figure out what are the words that are common between the two of those and then do a count rows on that virtual table to say, okay, if that number is greater than or equal to one, then there's at least one of those target words in the movie title. And those are, those are titles we want to retain in the, in the final result. And so in thinking about that, um, my first stop was, was the, uh, the DAC, SQL BI DAX guide. And I love this, um, I love this organization of it because what you can do is you can search functions by type. And so the first thing I did was I went down to text and said, okay, are there any, are there any text functions that are similar to that split column by delimiter? And there aren't. Um, unfortunately, that would make things quite easy, but there's nothing um, there's nothing that corresponds to that in DAX. So I happen to know from a trick that Antrik Sharma showed me a, a while back that you can use these these parent-child hierarchy functions, these path functions, to do the the same thing in terms of that split by delimiter. And there's a number of steps that we have to uh, that we have to apply, but um, 
these are worth taking a look at because these these five functions really can do some powerful things and I'll show you in a minute some of the uh, the flexibility they have so if we go to back to the back to the table that what the first thing I did is created this film path field and what this does is it just used the substitute command and it substituted for every space it substituted this vertical bar character and this is just the way paths have to be formatted in Power BI and so typically again this is done in Power Query I just did it in DAX to show you the um, the path commands because in, in Power Query um, it's different M commands um, so I wanted to keep this within the realm of the of the path functions um, so basically it subs in and creates that that path structure that we need and then I just applied trim to that to get rid of any leading or trailing spaces that could could screw things up and then the second calculated column I, I created here is just the path length and that is just a, a, a straight up command in straight up function in the path family that you apply to that that film path and it just tells you how many how many items are in that path? So in this case, it, it, it's how many words are in the title. It could be how many people are in the reporting chain. Um, but here, it's just a simple, simple word count. And so then, what what I did is created a calculated table that just went through the entire the entire um, movie table, removed the filters, and calculated the the maximum path length so what's the longest title in this database and then generated a series of indexes just one to that max path counting by ones and this is what the the table looks like and we'll see in a minute why this is why this is valuable and so if we jump back into power bi that what what i did is and it's top word in, in film path and we're going to focus really on this this virtual table that the, the general solution is what I showed in that Venn diagram where we took the the virtual table for the the top end words and that's calculated here then the split column by delimiter which is calculated here we're going to talk more about this in a minute and then just applied the intersection of those of those two columns and if that intersection was greater than zero gave it a one and if not gave it a zero and then just return that result but this is the part I want to focus on because this, this is kind of where the magic happens and the easiest way when you're working with virtual tables particularly ones that have some complexity to them is to go into tabular editor where you can you can materialize these virtual tables in a DAX query and so let's let's copy this over let's fire up tabular editor 3 you can also use DAX studio for this um, my, my preferred tool for for this sort of thing happens to be tabular editor um, because it's got some additional debug functions um, and some nice capabilities but for DAX queries um, DAX studio will work well too and that's that's free so in, in some cases that's going to be more attractive but um, so what we do is we just fire up a DAX query those start with evaluate and then we'll paste our code in and hit F5 and what we see is we've got the film path the max path and then what we've done is for each each increment of the the path index so one through nine for each one it then goes in here and using this path item command goes through the film path and says okay for path item one this this path index value what's the first word and it returns that and so if we take a look at a particular film so let's let's filter this down and let's just take one that's a little bit longer um, Captain America Winter Soldier and you can see here that evaluate returned a thousand row limit reached but click here to get all rows 
And so if we get all rows and then go back and filter this for Captain America again, But what you can see is exactly what it's doing for each for each title is it's going through and it's applying that one through nine index and then it's applying that to the the path item command so the the first item is captain the second item is america third is the fourth winner then soldier and then we get to six through nine it's just blank because it's it's run past the the number of words in that particular title. So what we've got here is actually now the, the, oh, I just sorted that upside down. Okay. It, what we've got now is the split by delimited column, which would be equivalent exactly to what we'd have in Power Query if we did split by delimiter and then spaces. And so if we go back to Power BI, we can see okay that when we take this take this in here and then run it through the the intersection and the if statement that what we can do is if we go back here and then we look at the filter the filter pane and then on this table what we've got is top word in film and we filtered it so that it's it's equal to one. And that's saying that basically everything in this table that has a a word that's in this in this target list shows up and the ones that are zero don't. And so that is how to split column by delimiter in DAX. Um, as I say, it's it's a really helpful tool when you need it when your situation is very dynamic or your data model doesn't support um, doing it in in Power Query. Um, and it, it really, I think, is a good illustration of kind of the unusual power of the, the path commands and how you can use those in some non-traditional ways. So I hope you found that helpful. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the contents covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website, plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best, take care.